so huh? No, I just have the air fan on it. It seems too hot. I mean, I don't have it freezing in here because I know I got to get out and deal with the heat. Yeah, with the uh, flap to hold that shut. Got that to feel safe. I know there's not a good buddy well, seat. This is pretty normal. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it would be a tight squat. We do have the, uh, you know, the dash cover back here instead of bare metal. Yeah. Let's be going fourth gear. I'll get used to this tractor before I go too fast. Plus, this disc ridges a little bit, so I don't want to go too fast. Yeah, we're still borrowing the neighbor's disc. Because uh, we haven't got ours back together yet. I did get some parts to fix it. I guess we're going to fix it and use it for now. I'm still looking for a larger disc for the 2 plus 2. We got a big tractor or we need a big disc. Uh, but let's make sure we have a solid machine as best as I can look at it. I mean, the guy's not going to sit there and let me hook it up to every implement he owns. I mean, that seems a little absurd. Uh, I mean, I would try it, but I try not to hassle people too much and do that enough. I'll get that nice forward view, Brad. Watch those extra big front tires. Because we don't need all the juice. It is kind of nice to have the exhaust off to the side. I haven't driven one of these with an exhaust in the middle. I gotta remember not to hit the brakes because there's only one brake pedal. So every time I make a turn, I want to hit the brake. Except I don't have individual wheel brakes. Tax doing good. Well, we're doing a pretty solid four and a half miles an hour. The, the ground out here is, it's not total mud. I wish it was drier. Uh, we're trying to get some sweet corn in before it rains tonight. We've got a little cluster of storms racing from the Chicago area down towards us. I haven't checked recently. I'm sure they're getting across to Indiana. Hopefully they're not close to Indy yet. We just need a little bit of time to dry before we come out here with the rototiller and beat it apart. Hopefully don't make too bad of mud balls out of it. Uh, but it's what, May 16th. We're about two weeks behind on the first planting of sweet corn. We've been aiming for May 1st into April, but that didn't work. Our last decent dry spell to pretend like we were going to till anything was, what, about April 10th, 15th? Yeah. It was kind of early, and it wasn't that dry. We're not chisel plowing because we're going to bring up some really wet stuff if we do that. So we're going to come out here with the disc, cut it up, hopefully, uh, you know, not make too big of a mess. Our lovely sod cover crop of rough stock bluegrass is giving way nicely. We've mowed this. This is the second time disc because we can see in front of us. All nice and uh, soily brown. Oh, eh. I really think we should have chiseled plowed if we try the road to spike out with this. Let's not break it all in one day. It's just an adventure. For the 2 plus 2 out here disking, we missed the 2910 Ford rototilling. And now the 10 is planting because that is what's available. The corn picker is still on the 28. I think we're done here picking corn. And we're putting some sweet corn in. There's rain on the way. See my quick pull up radar on my phone. Oh, hey, look at that. It's loading. Oh, huh. that's really close. Where the blue dot? That's just a mess. So that is lovely. Um, we've got this pass. Well, we have down and back and then down and back to do. And that's all we have planned to try to get done before we get dumped on yet again. It's not really that dry. We never made dust. We're just barely above mud balls out here. I mean, it crumbles, it doesn't squish, sort of. Some of it is a little squishy. Uh, but we're putting the corn in, saying we tried We're about two weeks late on the sweet corn. The 10 was the easiest thing available. The 66 is still parked in the back corner. We haven't fished it out. I got 
new to us used fertilizer openers put on. So that is good. I had to do some adjusting uh, because ours, we plant sweet corn, the planter is loaded and ready to go for like two, two and a half months depending upon weather. We plant hopefully the first bit the very end of April or beginning of May. And then we're planting the last corn July 4th. So we need, it's loaded, it's got fertilizer and it's not well cleaned out. And then we go from that, like planting directly to baling hay. So hopefully I get a break or a couple wet but not absolutely rainy days to plant, or not plant, to wash out the planter by getting a chance. I mean, that usually, that was Brad last year. So it's usually Brad who gets to uh, wash out the planter. Whew, it's a lot of walking. Right now we're planting eight rows of each variety. It's ending out to be like two thirds of an acre per variety, which being late, hopefully people still want to buy corn two weeks late and they'll be extra enthusiastic to buy a bunch at the end of July. Or two weeks later, last year we planted it May 1st and had corn like July 6th, right after the 4th of July. Uh, the my shortest variety I think was 70 days, so it's May 16th, two months and 10 days from now, puts us at the 15th, we're looking at closer to July 20th. We're still going to be in July, hopefully we should have it before August unless that little blob of rain that you saw on my phone absolutely does us in. However, as we can see this is sloping ground, so hopefully the water just runs away. I, uh, you know, envy the hill country folks. They don't have to worry about, you know, excess rain. Everything drains because it all rolls away somewhere else. Let's see, we did figure out that Dad was very right eye dominant with this marker. This one, he's getting down the center of the planter, but a couple passes over there, we had a quick discussion about this space. Like, I like to squeeze them together. But on one way, Dad was getting them... Eh, get underground there. There we go. Little chunk of sod. He was getting them a little close together, heading the opposite direction. And going this way, he had pretty good spacing to maybe a little wide, but it was probably about perfect. I just like to squeeze him a little bit. But he had a good squeeze on a pass over there. We need to catch up to the planter. We shouldn't run out of seed. Woo! Oh yeah, we got plenty. Uh, so far we planted Sweet Rhythm, Espresso, uh, we're putting Delectable, and Argent in. Most likely you haven't heard of any of those varieties. Uh, but we don't plant those uh, ones you know the name of. Uh, because They've been around so long. Let's say genetics have improved. We've tried them, but, and we've found varieties that do better on our lovely, slightly rolling clay knobs. So hopefully these can do well when it's wet. It's supposed to warm up over the weekend, but typically it's slightly chilly. So cold, wet, everything does well when it's warm. Not necessarily wet though, this stuff isn't sugar cane or rice. We're hoping for the best. I mean this year I've just come just short of trying to find a hiller like they use say in Arkansas and Louisiana. They do it for flood irrigation, uh, but I would use it for some place for the water to go down into and to keep the crop up a little bit. We have plenty of natural irrigation right now. If only there was a way to add air and dry it out. I guess we're open tillage kind of does that. Make some air pockets. Something. Now we almost came down to it, we we're gonna come out here in straight no-till but it dried out just enough for a quick bit of tillage. We're gonna get to the end here. We're gonna have to pull awfully close to the chicken fence because the chickens are still out there eating stuff. 
Uh, Dad will back up, turn around on the rug, come back, and then we will switch varieties. This variety, um, I question how well it's fitting the plate. However, it's filling every cell. It must have been by weight versus seed count. See, the, no, that's backwards, because typically this is a larger seed. They'll sell you... No, oh, that's a that's a pretty good fit. They're not struggling. They're falling in. Typically, they sell small seed by the count, and then they'll sell a large seed by weight. So one way you get screwed out of volume, and the other way, you know, they take away seed count. You get you, you know you get the, the the short end of the stick on seed count because they do the large seed by weight. Which is kind of dumb. Uh, usually it works out five pounds and ten thousand seeds are sort of close ish. Ish. Hello, chickens. Eat everything. Woo! Yes. Ideally, I would have had them moved so we could turn around there. But I don't because that's just not how things are working right now. If you haven't noticed, the lawn hasn't been mowed very well. Mowing the lawn is not an income-producing activity. Putting seed in the ground, hopefully, if we don't get rained on, you know, will uh, result in monetary effects down the road to keep this showboat rolling. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna go down. Other down. There we go. See, this is this is a gravity down. Only one hose. Maybe I chose the wrong one to go with. I put the hose in the down coupler versus the top one being the one when you pull the lever back would be up. So I put it in the down. I think you just go from float to the down position to lift. If that makes any sense.
Yep. Almost almost two quarts. The other ones have been doing right at two quarts. Yeah. Yep, it fits. Sweet corn seed is fun because it's all wrinkly. Not a nice round field corn seed. However, being all wrinkly, it will not go through a vacuum, air, suction, blower, whatever. It's not like a Skittle. It's like a shriveled pea of Mendel. But those aren't as fun as Skittles. Well, all I gotta do is go down and back and then race to the barn. Yep, let's go. All right, let's hop on and go for a ride. You want to ride, Brad? It's not dead. And its wings are unfolded. So it's not a fresh out of the cocoon. It should be able to fly. And, oh. oh, it's stuck. Oh, the sticky, that's why it's still there. Why are you stuck, little guy? Did you get hit? Oh, you got poop or something. What happened to your back end? Stop trying to mate with the truck. Maybe it did get, maybe you did catch it. Yeah, I must have caught it. Oh, um, he's not gonna fly away very well. No, probably not. Oh, geez. Come here, I'm trying to get you up. Oh, geez. They're not we found a butterfly. Ah, he, keeps flying out of my he got, uh, we'll say, caught in Brad's grill. Um, I don't know, either put him in the, I don't know whether to just put him in the back of the truck or put him in the greenhouse. He's not going to survive. Well, he's about to get rained on. No. Come on, little buddy. You're not going to like how I pick you up, but you won't get away. Yeah, that's difficult for life. Okay. Uh, well, it's not going to rain in the back of the truck. So, so you don't get soaked. Uh, yeah, your crusties on your back end aren't helping you. Just, just chill for a short bit and we'll get you some flowers.